is Sarah Sanderson. Um, I uh, work for the Arts Council. My role is Relationship Manager, Diversity in Arts Practice. So um, I have uh, two main parts to my, uh, my role. One is managing the relationship that the Arts Council has with um, four four organisations um, that um, we call national portfolio organisations, um, so they're directly funded by the Arts Council. So I look after Buxton Arts Festival, which is an opera festival uh, in Derbyshire. Uh, I look after Worksworth Festival, which is a contemporary visual arts festival, again in Derbyshire. Um, I look after the Spark Children's Arts Festival, which um, uh, is in Leicester, and they've got a hub at the Curve Theatre in Leicester, um, and that's um, uh, a combined arts programme, but um, uh, mainly um, theatre and dance, but they're starting to have more visual arts in the programme as well. And then I also look after Red Earth Theatre, which is a, 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 um, a, a national touring inclusive art uh, theatre company so everything every production they put on um, is in, is inclusive and the performances are um, have um, sort of, um, they're signed as well but it's part of the piece as opposed to you know someone stood at the side of the stage or something it's all all um, uh, part of it. Um, so you probably noticed that three of the three of the organisations are festivals so I'm responsible for looking after festivals in the East Midlands in terms of um, if a festival is looking for funding, they come and speak to me first. Um, and then I also meet with artists who um, have a diverse arts practice. Um, and when, I, when we talk about diversity at the Arts Council, we're talking about um, faith, um, disability, race, gender, um, sexuality, class, socioeconomic. So it's a, a really broad. <laughs> broad spectrum and uh, I've been at the Arts Council for two years and I've mainly been focusing on disability um, just because it's difficult to do, try and do um, everything, you know, work with everybody all at once so I've had my main focus on disability but then obviously if other people have come to, to speak to me about their um, practice and they fit within my remit of um, uh, diversity then, then I've spoken with them as well but there's only me Covering the entire East Midlands, so um, um, I don't. <laughs> I um, you know, don't come and see me at the very, very last minute because I might not be available. Um, okay. If when I'm going through the presentation, if you've got any questions or you need clarity on anything, or you know, not sure about what I'm saying, then please just ask me as we as we're going through. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not able to show show it on the on the wall there because part of the presentation there was a, a video which kind of show gives an example of the type of things that that we fund. Um, has anyone here received any, um, funding from the Arts Council? Yeah. Okay. Well, it might be useful afterwards if you're able to tell us about your experience about that. It would be useful for. That's, if you feel if you feel if you want to, um, but yeah, one thing to do is to is um, if you can support each other as artists with um, with a, applying for funding and things like that. Then I would advise that. I think peer to peer support is really important. 